reporting live from the Music for Youth Rock and Pop Festival in Birmingham. Um, this is the um, rock festival for kids to actually come in to showcase their talent. You can see that this place is full of children of all ages. Uh, last year I had the fabulous opportunity to adjudicate this uh, festival and um, it was a really wonderful experience for me actually. I also was able to uh, meet with um, Jack from The Spectators who actually was one of the kids who performed on my album. It was absolutely brilliant. I came down to London on my own which was the first time and I came down and I met everyone and basically it was sort of the best experience of my life so far because I met all these people that were extremely sa extremely talented like Stacey herself and got to play on this great album with old tunes that are sort of being like revamped for um, sort of new musical tastes. We, it was just fantastic. Got loads of inspiration yeah. from the guys there. We didn't stop hearing about it for yeah. a yeah. good week. He <laughs> really enjoyed it. I think the whole thing that Music for Youth does is to uh, give young musicians, regardless of what genre and style they play in, just a chance to play on great performance platforms. So for an orchestral musician, that might be a symphony hall up in town. And for somebody in a band, it is the O2 Academy. Yeah. And we've got professional engineers, lighting engineers, sound engineers, real experts working with them, so it's a real step up from what they might be used to at school or college. Yeah, well I, they're really enjoying themselves and the, the best shot, and it was too dark in there to get it on camera, but I'm going to tell Laura and you, are the parents with their earplugs in, it is just, and they're yeah. moshing, the parents are just moshing, it's great. I mean, that experience that all those musicians had to play on your album was just, was just fantastic, it's what you gave them was, you know, they, they, they've talked to us about it, a truly professional experience of working in a studio, working with a producer, working with you, and that, that is something they will genuinely remember for a long, long time. I'm Jack. And I'm Sam. And how old are you? We're both 15, and we're both um, from Yorkshire, Bradford. What is it like to play at Royal Albert Hall? Oh, Royal Albert Hall was amazing. Really enjoyed it. The vibe there was awesome as well. Um, we're recording our Sis Jackson's new album today. Which is going to be awesome. Um, okay, this, this particular album is a labor of love of mine. Um, it's basically Motown, sort of 60s um, and early 70s tracks, very rocked out. What we've done is we've selected to acquire some strings, bassist, guitars, figuring out which, would, which groups would actually be best for the, for the tracks. And you're all here. Exciting. Are we all excited? We're all excited. I'm like feeling the vibes. Very excited, this is Royal Albert Hall everyone, and I'm just about to go into school's proms, so come on in. So now I'm backstage at Royal Albert Hall, and I wanted to introduce to you the next group that's going up on stage in front of thousands of people. Yeah. Introduce yourselves guys. Uh, the Greater Gwent Mon Ensemble. Woo, and where is that? Where are you, where are you all from? You're from a South school? Wales. South Wales, okay. Is this something that you see you're going to continue with in the future? I mean, the majority of us are in it for, I mean, the money and the women. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think, so I, I, think so I, I 
think some of us might actually be in it to a uh, musical fashion, so yeah. I love it! That's great. What I'd like to do and what I'd like to continue doing with Music for Youth is um, working with these kids who were given serious life-changing opportunities through finding music. I'd like to bring these children into London and have an opportunity where they'll be recording on a single in the future um, that will be mentored by me and some you know celebrity artists and working with professional musicians and engineers and producers in in the studio and you know this will be an ongoing project for me something that I you know I, I am very passionate about if I can inspire children to never give up on that and to continue using music as a way of expressing themselves um, that that to me is incredible. I'm really excited. The whole album thing has taken off and it's been really good and the dance remix is number 29 on the chart today. So it's it's been great and this whole um, this whole you know past few months has been a bit of a whirlwind, but it's all very exciting. I'm literally living my dream doing this.